means I can push this. Never mind. I was gonna say I could push this into the spike trap, and then I pushed it into water by mistake, and there goes the chest. The only way that's coming out now is with oh, Bomb, and guess what I don't have? Of course there's a- Let it go, me. Let it go. I saw nothing. Except broken hopes and dreams. Oh, I hate you, game. You're making me save up for Cat of Nine Tails. And I hate Cat of Nine Tails. Jeez! Delicious dairy! I think I have enough now. But first. Really? Thanks, game. Just throw an enemy in a box at me. Just wonderful. As much as I like spears, I do need that cat and eye tail, so I don't have enough. I just realized it's three. I misread it as 250 and. There we go. Just move. Go back, get that, and Ugh. This is gonna be a train wreck. I mean, on the one hand, I do have a means of healing. And a sufficiently decent weapon. But Cat of Nine Tails is incredibly finicky. Good, King Konga, one of the easier bosses. King Konga has a bunch of minions that spawn. Its big gimmick is skipped beats. Only seven out of eight moves are actually inputs you can make. Every eighth beat is skipped. There is a shrine that executes the same thing. Fuck, I should have moved down. Why did I do that? Why did I make that decision? I should have made down. I hate everything. That was a stupid mistake on my part. I should have moved down. It's been a while since I've played this game, and no more excuses me. Why? Which button is my quick restart? There we go. That was a stupid decision made. And this is what I mean. I'm not great at Necrodancer. But I like playing this game. It's just somehow very fun and relaxing for me. Then again, I like hard games in the general, so... Maybe part of the appeal is the simple fact that I know I'm bad at it, but it's still entertaining seeing the types of train wrecks I get in here. I recognize their train wrecks. I recognize I'm bad at this game. But it's kind of just one of those guilty pleasures, you know? It's 
so far. Let's take this bit wide. Remember you reach me, and you should be fine. Especially since, since you're good at keeping rhythm. Your obsidian blade is amazingly powerful. Infinite storage. Watch me not take advantage of this in the slightest. This does mean that I can store close to you unlimited items. But honestly, there is no way in hell I'm going to have that many items to store in the first place. Guaranteed, I'm probably gonna die by the time we get to the first boss. We'll see, though. Take up a bit of coin. Don't think I don't see you there. English. What do you... <laughs> English is a hard language. Good. Honestly, I'll take whip. Especially since it's a blood whip. Sure, I am losing out on the ability to attack the area, but honestly, I'm more about reach in the first place, as opposed to area eating. So at least for my playstyle, this is a better decision. Especially since it's heal on 10 kills. Uh oh, that's really tempting. That is really tempting. But I think I'm gonna stay with the whip. Get back here, you. Son of a bitch. Wasn't able to kill him in time. An explanation on what just happened there. Fuck no! <laughs> Why? That was such a stupid decision, me! Okay. So, if a pile of money appears that has at least 30 coins within it, occasionally a leprechaun spawns. Kill the leprechaun, you can get your money back, and you can also gain a four-leaf clover, which improves your item drop chance, and makes items across the board better. I failed killing him, and he escaped. Then on top of that, I forgot to register the skeleton that was right in front of, and the skeleton killed me. All because I decided to attack as opposed to move. Well then. A fucking course. And I can't take advantage of any of those. Wonderful! Way to piss away everything, me! Time to see what's in the shop, I guess. Oh, that's very tempting. Just enough for the temporary help. And again, as a reminder, if I can overheal, then I can heal. question now is, can I get, like, an apple or some on so I can open it? And I think there's something... 
break this crate with? No, there is not. Oh, good. There is something up there that I can use to break this crate with. Oh, good. I'm just gonna need to push it all the way up. The slow push. There we go. Was it a bit of a waste? Maybe. But having more health in the long run is better. Because I'm prone to mistakes. And this is just a simple matter of damage mitigation. Make it so that I can make slightly more mistakes slightly more often. I wish I had a bomb. This is pretty good armor, actually. Good, check it. So now, I can make slightly more mistakes, slightly more often. Oh, that's really good. Okay, so this jar here. If I can deal enough damage to it, then I could get the item inside. Problem is, jars are fairly tanky. They also break traps they uh, come into contact with. So that means I'm gonna be pushing this thing around a while. Oh, this suddenly got interesting. Because this is a very hard weapon to use. Piss poor range normally? But, if you load ammo into it, then you can fire upon everything within a very long line. With the iron boots, this makes it so that I effectively don't get knocked back after firing. This can be a very potent weapon in the right hand. I might have been blessed. I have never had this combination before. I actually didn't know this was a synergy. Holy shit, this makes the rifle so much better. This actually makes it so I can use the rifle. Coral Rift. Holy shit. Who'd have thought? All I need is a set of iron boots. Honestly, I'll take the shield ring. The extra damage is useful, don't get me wrong. But I would rather have some security. 
And knowing me, I'm prone to making a lot of mistakes really quickly, so, uh, I'll take it. Also, I didn't realize that you could only pick up either the holster or the back. I'm sticking with the backpack because having more usables is gonna be better for me in the long run. This mows down everything in its path. Kinda glad I picked up a uh, shield ring now. Honestly, I'm keeping the steel boots because this makes it so that I don't have to deal with the knockback, and it's going to be a whole lot easier using this. Good. It'd be nice if I could find a shop so I can. Buy some healing items. But them's the brakes. Right at me. Okay, this is actually really tempting. Was it worth it? We'll find out shortly. that mystery pot because I need some chicken or something to heal myself with now. Uh 
otherwise, I am completely screwed. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay. I'm gonna take this chest. Nope. Not taking that, that's too much of a risk. What that would have done was increase my damage output. But in exchange, Make it so that every time I miss a beat, I take damage. Not worth it. Especially with how little health I have. I need a way to heal. And of course, you're not going to give it to me. I think the monocle ball, because that'll at least let me see what's in secret areas. Unfortunately, no HP. I need HP so bad. Have popped my scroll. That was such a good set! Holy shit! I've never had such a good set before. I also didn't realize that the rifle pairs so well with iron boots. I need to get that set more often. Holy shit! Also, holy shit! This is kinda suck. I mean, at least I got fortunate at this, and... I don't have much fun, and honestly... I would have preferred a better weapon. But hey. Take what you can get. There's a secret right here. A bunch of shrines. 
try. If I had the cash, I would gladly turn this weapon into a blood trap. I now have the cash. Is it a mistake? Probably. We'll see though. What? Uh, right, I forgot. Rapier doesn't have the brave effect. That was a stupid decision on my part. Um, explaining what I mean by that, there's this thing called the Ring of Bravery, which makes it so that you always advance toward an enemy when you attack in that direction. And you essentially advance to occupy the same space they were within. Or if you're supposed to. But if the action were to send you into the line of fire, and if you were supposed to take damage from that effect, then the damage is nullified. I don't have that effect. The, the rapier doesn't have that effect on it. It's very much risky to travel into the same space as an enemy who is the rapier. But it can be worthwhile. One, done. I think that space right there is a secret shop. But unfortunately, I don't have any bombs, and the only bomb available to me is the trap that I can't move the bomb. I haven't checked the shop yet, I don't think. With luck, maybe the shop will have something useful. Oh. I would have liked to have that rod. Because what the rod does is it acts like a dagger, but if you successfully damage an enemy with the rod, then it also attacks on and continues a straight line. if I remember correctly. Oh, that's really good. I... Right, it has to be... That's another thing I forget. The area up for the axe. It's not necessarily, like... Moving with a broadsword, but so much as you attack with a broadsword attack after moving, if that makes sense. And I keep forgetting that. It's also how the Cat of Nine Tails works, too. But of course, I can never seem to wrap my head around it because it's a lot to remember. Also, don't dash up to enemies if they're exactly two tiles away from you. All of those are very tiny. I might try to get Crown of Thorns. Because sure, that will damage me once I pick it up. But it will also permanently give you the effect of blood on <laughs> In 
in the long run, that's going to be useful. I can only hope I can get a better weapon to take advantage of the effect. That was a... That was a really bad setup. And a really bad decision, too. Ugh, I hate you. Blood shot. Honestly, I'll take both of those. Because holy water will deal heavy damage to everything within an area. I believe it's three or four damage to everything one tile adjacent to you. But in addition, it also heals you for half a heart per enemy you damage from its effect. Very useful. Also, sunglasses is just generally amazing. Also genuinely amazing. Extra HP. Yeah, no, game, you couldn't pay me to turn all of my equipment into glass. Glass items are the most powerful ones in the game. With very few exceptions. However, this comes at a drastic caveat. If you take damage, the glass item breaks, and you're left with a glass shard, which... Conversely, is the weakest item in the game. The same can also apply to Glass Shovel, too. Digs anything, but it's. If you take damage, then it reduces down to the weakest shovel in the game. was worth it. Ish. Honestly, I'd rather have sunglasses. I shouldn't have attacked and should have moved instead. That's my fault. Actually, I want to double check something. Okay, good. Sorry, after the whole uh, Trials of Mana fiasco, I've been starting to get more paranoid about my mic because I tend to toggle it off in between recording sessions. And, uh, well. For last week's Trials of Mana, that led to a dicey scenario. Well, I say dicey, more like a clumsy scenario. Very clumsy, and I like to forget it. I'm intentionally going to make sure I don't not having your mic on and delivering commentary is like one of the most embarrassing things. Ever. Oh good, red hats. And the bomb spell. Okay, that was 
climb. What do we have? Item. The extra damage would be nice. Sure. The chest could contain anything. It could have... If I remember correctly, purple items are equipment. 